Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. We're down here in Las Vegas, Nevada, a little south of downtown at a friend's place. And um, that'd be Vachi, he's the one doing the filming. And um, so right now, today, I just uh, would like to talk a little bit about curved, you know, radius knives. This is an outside radius. You know, and people ask me, inside radius, outside radius, how do you sharpen? So today I'm gonna to use the rectangle, and uh, it has the V-notch that you can slide the knife through. It's also got the open face. I call it the straight line, it's just two corners. There's a 90 degree corner here, 90 degree corner over there. And they don't have to be very uh, thick because it depends uh, on the corners, not the thickness of the steel. And so what I wanna do right now is just show you a little bit about sharpening the radius, the outside radius of a knife. This is kind of a thick blade. It's a Damascus blade. And uh, it's actually a really cool knife. I'll hold still, you can kind of get a better look of it there. And uh, it has the file work on it. It's got dyed camel bone and antler. Okay, and it's got three rivets in this one, two in this one. So it's really actually a, a pretty tough, durable little knife. And um, they're about 58 on the Rockwell scale for hardness. This one is probably in the neighborhood of uh, 50 folds. And um, so, you know, it's uh, over an eighth of an inch thick, not quite, maybe three sixteenths of an inch thick. Uh, so it's pretty cool. But, uh, and I should have brought some paper. Uh, I totally forgot because you're not gonna be able to see how sharp this thing really is. So what we do is we're just gonna take this corner right here. All right, we're gonna place it on the blade like this. All right, at about a 10 degree bevel up like that. And then we're just gonna slide it along this way, right around the radius, right out towards the point, just like that. Now on this side, I'm gonna come back this way and then out this way towards the point, match the bevel, slide it right on out. With a whetstone, okay, I'm gonna hold still. See how just needle sharp the tip of this knife is? Okay, with a whetstone, as you come in to sharpen, if you actually go sideways at all, you'll begin to take the point off your blade. With my sharpener, that never happens because I actually just come around here, straightens out, and I fly right off the tip like that, right off the point. That way I never come down this way, which would actually take some of the, the fine point off of that blade. All right, so we just like this, go right on around, don't push too hard, let it work, don't make it work. It's gonna look like this on your side, on the corner of the sharpener, anywhere in there, about there in the middle, you know, that's, that's good. So just like this, come right on around, right off the point, tip it over, come back towards my thumb. It's, it's easier to have my thumb there than it is to let it fall off like that. So I just let it bump my thumb. It pushed my thumb out of the way slightly so I can get all the way back to here. Okay, and then just go right on around the radius, right up towards the point. And I'll turn it over and do it again on this side. Tune-ups or sharpening, same thing. I don't really change anything. Now on a knife like this, I never use the V-notch. Um, first of all, the knife may not fit the V-notch. Um, this might be a solid 20, 22 degrees. This might actually be more around uh, 30 overall inclusive, 15 on each side. And um, because it is thick, uh, it, it does have a tendency to have a little more uh, thickness on the cutting edge. So we just go along like this, take that little tiny burr off the blade, don't press hard on it. Right now I'm just polishing. But uh, like I say, I wish I would have grabbed a piece of paper. So let's just touch it lightly on my thumbnail and let's see what we get. Okay, that won't slide. It just takes the, the thumbnail right off. Uh, plenty sharp. By the way, the little knife is $110 and um, it's got some weight to it and um, it's a really cool knife it's a good little skinner it's got the sheath that goes with it take this make sure you don't jab the point into the sheath turn it a little bit and then just work it in there like that it's got the belt loop on it it's got a tie so that you can actually tie it to your belt loop so that you can't uh, lose it you know you put it around the knife um, things like that so anyway, this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com, and that's how you sharpen an outside radius on a knife, and that's how you use the rectangle. You go to sharpensbest.com, you can buy there. Um, we have a different variety of packages. Uh, the more you buy, the cheaper they get. Uh, this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care, and you stay sharp out there. You know what, I found a piece of paper. 
and uh, so now we can actually show you the uh, sharpness on the knife and uh, it's actually my rental agreement on my rental car so we just kind of trim around the edges and stuff but uh, you'll definitely get the oh geez that is just nuts okay uh, I gotta get the paper turned uh, okay if you can cut like that that knife is plenty sharp come right in here all the way out there to the point like that I'm gonna do it again here it's funny, uh, the blade being curved up like that, the further you go down, the more it goes up the blade, the more it wants to actually cut up in the air. That's, that's kind of weird. So, whoop, there it goes again. Um, so it is kind of weird, but it is sharp. It's plenty sharp. So knife works good. Sharpener looks good. It's a thick blade. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. You take care and you stay sharp out there.